Hi, I'm Connie Townsend, group fitness instructor and personal trainer. We're here to, to do a home workout with you. I have my volunteers, I have Sherry and Nancy here today to help me. And you can grab some water and grab a towel and join us. We're gonna start with a warm up, and then we're gonna use one weight today. So if you have a water bottle or a rock or a can of soup <laughs> or a dumbbell, anything you have at home, we'll be using one weight today as we progress through the program. Okay. We're gonna start with a warm up. So that just means progressively moving a little bit more and more, gradually getting the body all warmed up. Four, three, we're gonna go this way in a step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. So start swinging the arms a little bit. Just let them naturally swing. Not very big steps, not very big swings yet. Just kind of starting to move. In four, three. Now let's bring those heels up in back. We do these a lot, hamstring curls. They start to warm up the leg muscles in the back of the leg, but they also do some stretching in the front of the leg. Now arms, we're gonna push on these. We're gonna push diagonally. Kind of push away from that heel that's coming up. Now don't lean over, stay tall. We're starting to activate the core by pulling the navel toward the spine. Four, three. Now let's make it a front curl. So that means that the heel comes up in front. Your feet are still kind of wide. Get those arms going a little. So keep it very low at first. We don't want to strain the hip or the low back. Now, as you get looser in those hips, those legs can come higher. And give me a little front kick. How about a side kick? Warming the joints up in all different directions. Getting ready for all different movements. Let's go back to those front kicks now that we're gonna push. Now side kick, we're gonna push out. Out to the side, from the shoulder out. Four, three, two, one more. Each side, march it out. All right. Now feet are gonna stay pretty narrow here, just hip width apart. Let's come to a stop for a moment. We're gonna take our arms, Raise up, kind of circle around the head. Now some of these movements, actually all of these movements, are going to be a preview of what we'll be doing in the next section. Other direction. Woo. All right, let's come to a stop right there. Now knee up. Let's slow down for a sec. Knee, knee, nice and slow to kind of get our balance activated. Now let's speed it up a little. 
So not a big movement with the arms when you're going faster. Keep them small. Four, three, and let's just march it. Now feet, hip width. We're gonna come forward in a lunge. We've done these many times. Now other leg, step forward. Drop that back knee to the floor when you step. So we're not leaning forward here. Arms are going to play a part in a moment. Start out front, sweep to the hip. Up, sweep to the hip. Up, we're keeping it slow so that we can get a little more balance challenge thrown in. It's harder to move slow. Now, hold. Let's drop that back knee a bit. We're gonna do a figure eight with the arms. Whoa, so now it's really hard to balance because your arms are moving. Woo! All right, pull it back in. Arms up, knee up. Four, three, two. All right, come to a stop, other side. Step forward, pull back. Step forward, pull back. Alternating for a moment. Now, hold. It's that other leg in front this time. Let's figure eight. Woo! <laughs> Get those muscles in the legs really going. Bring it back. Let's inhale. Get tall. Exhale. One more. And then just swing the arms. Loosening up the shoulders. All right. So we're gradually warming up. We're pretty warmed up to start with, and then when we continue on, we'll get warmer. Get a drink, get a weight, and join me back here. Okay, now grab that weight. We're using a dumbbell, but you can use anything that has some weight in your house. We have it in both hands. Let's start with that step touch. Now you can keep it small and close to the body with a little bit of a swing, or make it bigger. Really depends on your shoulders and how stable they are and how healthy they are. So we're getting the heart rate up, but we're also using that weight to work our core, work our muscles in the upper body. Four, three, two, bring that weight in, heels up and back. So from about the chest level, we're gonna push it diagonal. Don't let it draw you forward. Stay tall. Woo! Count down. Four. Hold it in. Well, except I forgot what I was doing. Let's front curl. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right. Now remember, keep them low if you need to. We don't want to strain those hips. Arms out. Just up and down in front. So we're tall. It's 
like we're coming down to meet that heel. Woo! Four, three, two, feel those hips working. March it out. Okay, so we're gonna stay pretty narrow here. Come to a stop, loosen the knees a bit. We're overhead. Draw that navel toward the spine, circle the head. Try to bring it, bring the weight behind the head a little bit. Get it back there. Other way. And don't let the body wiggle, hold it still. Okay, last circle. Keep it up there. Knee up, knee. So you're pulling the arms down, pulling the weight down to meet the knee. Just bring those knees forward, don't let them cross your body. Only do what you can. Right now we're working those upper back muscles quite a bit. Shoulders, arms, and some chest. One more each. Okay, bring it down. Now, those legs are in that lunge position. Hip width, toes forward. We're gonna come forward, back, other side. All right, we're gonna add the weight. Starts in front, pull it to the hip. Now the body is straight on. It's that weight that comes off center. Not a very big step. Remember, you're dropping the back knee toward the floor. One more each. But then we get to hold. Not yet, not yet. And hold. Drop the back knee a little bit. Up, right body. Arms out, figure eight. Just like the warm up. But now we're holding that weight, so it's hard to balance. You can keep it real close to the body. The further out you are, the harder it is. Woo! All right, bring it in. Let's go back to those knees up. Knee, knee, knee. Three, two. All right, bring it down and lunge it. Other leg, arms out, bring it to the hip. It's like a scoop or a kayak paddle. You're just dipping it or a canoe, I guess, more like. All right, other leg, hold. So the other leg is forward this time, make sure. Woo, yikes. And bring it back in. March it, other foot. In four, three, step, touch. So this is a great way of getting our cardio and some, some weight exercises. We're also using our core quite a bit. All right, in four, three, let's hold the weight in. Heels up in back. Push. Woo! Four, three, hold.
the weight in. Front curl, 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 curl. So your feet are kind of wide. Bringing that heel across in front. Lots of different muscle groups. We've hit pretty much everything in this section. All right, let's march it out. Whew. All right, let's bring that heart rate down gradually. Go get a drink. Okay, keep your weight. We're gonna do some legs now, but it also includes some upper body as well. So good combos here. Feet start squat width apart. So a little wider than your hips, toes are forward. Now we're gonna do progressions, which means we do one, and we start with that one again and add one, and then we go back to the beginning and add and add and add. <laughs> so we'll be doing quite a lot of squats by the end of this. Shoulders are back and down, chin stays level. Let's start with just squats for now. Let's get the feel for them again. Remember you let those knees bend, you push the bottom back. Weight is in those heels. Okay. Four, three, two. I'm gonna start the progressions. All right, so one squat and stop. Now, start at the top, so that's one squat. Now hold, let's row and up. Start at the top, squat, row, release, upright row, down. Start at the top, squat, row, release, upright row, and add on, front raise. Okay, sit, row, upright row, front raise, and bicep curl. So that's the end of that series. So we have one squat, whoops, stay down, row it. Upright row, elbows in the air above the hands. Front raise, and then bicep curl. Let's start over. Squat, row, upright row, front raise, bicep curl. We'll just keep doing these for a while. Squat, row it, upright row, front raise, bicep curl. Do it again. Squat, row, upright row. Front raise. Now let's break it down again and do each one. So let's just do squats. Four, three, two. Now make it a squat row. Stand, do it again. Squat, row, and up. One more. Now we'll make it a squat row, upright row. Squat, row, upright. Squat, row, release. Upright row. Just stay with these three. Squat, release, upright row. All right. Next one, we'll add that fourth thing on. Row, upright row, front raise. Squat, row, upright row, 
Front raise, squat, row, upright row, front raise. You really gotta be thinking, huh? Squat, row, upright row, and raise. Okay, let's add that bicep curl. Squat, row, upright row, front raise, bicep curl. So we're back to one of each. Row, upright row, front raise, bicep curl, squat, row, upright row, front raise, bicep curl, one more, squat, row, upright row, front raise, bicep curl, Woo! let's hang that weight in front, tuck the chin, let the weight pull you down just a tiny bit, pull those shoulders forward, you're really feeling it in that upper back, nice stretch before we go on, and back to center, all right, we're going to be passing this thing side to side in a side raise. So just hold on to one end, lift it up shoulder height, then pass it to the other side. Not too high. Kind of glance once in a while. Make sure it's not going above your shoulder height. And as you lift your arm, don't let that shoulder raise. Keep it down. Go your own speed. You can slow it way down. All right, one more. Okay, now starting at the end of our progression, progression, our series, we're gonna do each one just individually. So, just starting with bicep curls, elbows into your side. Don't let the elbows wander forward. Belly button pulled in. Knees unlocked, so they're loose. Last four. Three, two. Let's do those front raises. Four, three, two. All right, upright rows. Let's point our hands down a little bit and up. So we won't go get through the whole series. But we'll at least finish up with the upright rows. Woo, elbows end up higher than the hands. Just straight up the body like you're zipping up a coat with both hands. Couple more, and then we'll get some water. All right, put your weight away. Get it out from your, around your area. We're gonna be moving side to side. We're gonna be moving forward and back. We're gonna take a moment to get your, our heart rate up, work on our cardio a little bit with some aerobics. Okay. Now anything we're doing, if it's just not manageable for you, just come back to the march, but don't stop altogether. Keep moving a little bit. Oops, let me get us back on the beat. Here we go. Now, we're gonna start with knees up. So, here we go. Knee, 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 knee. You're nice and tall, your shoulders are back. Now, 
Now, going into a grapevine. So that step, cross, step together. Remember to always step out first. Four, three, two, back to the knees up. Other knee this time, leads. Four, three, two. We're gonna go back into the grapevine, other side this time. Three, two, knees up, four, three, two, grapevine, just one time, there and back, knees up, four, three, two, grapevine, knees up, grapevine, Knees up. Grapevine. Takes a bit to get used to it. Knee, knee, knee. Grapevine. Knee up, up. One more grapevine. All right, march it. See, it's good to throw in combinations that make us think because that helps us with our coordination. In four, three, walk it forward and back. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. All right. So, three more times. Two more times. One more time, forward and back. Then we're gonna walk around a little circle. Whoops, other way, sorry, that's my fault. <laughs> March it. All right, let's do it again, walk it forward. And back, again. One more time. Now let's walk around in a tiny little circle. Don't go very far. March it. In four, three. Now we're gonna come across with that foot in a mambo. Stay here. One more. Now, other lead, come across, stay here. One more. Let's do it again. Mambo, 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 one more. And just switch leads. Mambo, 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 one more. Now, that brings us to a mambo cha-cha. Mambo, one, two, three. Mambo, one, two, three. So it's just one on each side. One, two, one, two, three. It's a funny pattern, funny rhythm. You'll get it. In four, three. We're gonna change this to a cross kick. Cross, cross, kick, kick. Now, you're staying in one place, but you're turning your hips. So you turn and kick, turn and kick. And front kicks now. Let's double up on those two kicks. Two kicks, working on the balance now. Woo! 
All right. Got one more set. Then march it. We're on the other side this time, on the other lead. Eight, seven, six, five. We started with those knees up. Here we go. Four, three, two, grapevine. Now knees. Four, three, two, grapevine. Knees. Grapevine. Knees. Woo. Grapevine. Walk it forward and back. One, two, three, tap. One more. Now we're walking around in that little circle. Front kicks. All right, so bring the heart rate down a little bit by making your movements a little smaller. <clears throat> Let's go into those cross kicks just to work our hips a little bit. Four, three, back to front kicks. Low. All right, keep moving ar around the room. Get some water. Don't just go sit down. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna use the wall for exercise. <laughs> it's like an exercise tool. And I know you have a wall at home, so no excuses. <laughs> we're going to do a push-up against the wall. So, we're gonna face the wall. Now, how hard of a push-up you wanna make it will depend on how far your feet are from the wall. So, if you're really close up to the wall, it makes it easier. So, your hands are positioned like a real push-up, kind of across from the chest here, hands against the wall. Now, body, don't let those hips move. You don't want to hinge at the hip. We want to lock the, the hips. You want to really tighten the glutes so that you are bored. <laughs> okay, so we just come into the wall and then push away. So now, if you feel like that's not very hard, step out, lock the hips, make it harder. So you adjust what you are getting out of it by how far you are from the wall. Heels up or down? Um, heels can be down, unless you're way out there. Woo! All right, let's come away from the wall. We're gonna turn around. So this next one is a wall sit. So it's like doing a squat, but we're actually leaning against the wall to do it. Now your feet are going to be way out from the wall. So let's kind of start there, find the wall, fall back into it, and then try to walk your feet even further out. And I hope you have good, good traction on your shoes <laughs> because when we come down into a wall sit you want to look like a chair so you're 90 degrees 90 degrees or bigger you can be way up here so just slide down that wall a little bit at a time you can stay high or you can come down further it's all about you and your legs your body weight goes into those heels now keep the head back, keep the shoulders back a little bit. If you get fatigued, come up a little. We're pulling that navel into the wall so we get rid of that gap between the back and the wall. Once you've rested a little, you can come on back down. Woo! And let's come all the way up. Ah, oh, 
Take a rest. <laughs> now, let's turn side to the wall. Okay, those lunges that we do all the time. They're hard to do when you're off balance and having trouble balancing. And so our wall is there for our use. Our legs are hip width apart, toes are forward. We're gonna take that, oh, I'm gonna step out with my inside leg here so you can see what my back hip is doing. So you take a big step out as far as you can. That back heel comes up off the floor. Your body stays upright, shoulders back. Now take that back knee, push it toward the floor and back up. So that's the perfect squat uh, form, position. Now it's hard to get it exactly right when we have to worry about wobbling and falling over. <laughs> so that's what make, makes the wall so usable, so helpful to us. All right, a couple more. So we're not leaning forward. So when you come down, look, the front knee is about 90 degrees or more, but not smaller. One more. Shoo. Okay, now we're gonna have to do that other leg, but not yet. We're gonna go back to the push-ups. So find your, your spot, hands, chest level, and wide. Here we go, let's do some of them. So you challenge yourself. If these get to be too easy, and you know you're doing it right, then go ahead and you can step back even further. It's just all about you. If you're way out from the wall, then your heels do come up off the floor. Or you might need to be really close in. So we're getting the benefit of real push-ups like we do on the floor without all the body weight <laughs> to make them really hard. One more. Woo! Okay, let's turn around. Back to the wall sit. So start out pretty far. Now this time, we're gonna change it just a hair. Widen out your feet and be sure to keep them away from the wall pretty good. Because you don't wanna be so close in that when you come down, your knees are sticking out in front of your feet. So they're out, they're wide, Let's turn the toes out of hair. Slide down. Just hold. Woo! Pull that navel in. Shoulders back, head is back. Go ahead and rest the head against the, the wall. So these are a plie squat wall sit. <laughs> so you're using a little bit more of the inner and outer thigh, as well as the front, back, and glutes. If you get tired, come up a little bit. Then once you rest, try to challenge yourself a little bit by coming down. All right, feel the weight in your heels. Let's slowly come back up. Whoo, shake them. All right, it's that other leg this time for the lunges. So legs start always hip width apart, toes forward. Okay, so it was my inside leg that I stepped forward last time, that's what I'm gonna do. Then, I'm gonna try to even push that back leg further. All right, shoulders back. Upper body doesn't move at all. We're gonna drop that back knee. So your back heel is up off the floor. You're on your toes back there. Belly button pulled in. Woo! Only do what you can. Squats and lunges are the two main leg exercises. They get all those muscles. But always just do a few and take a rest if you need to and then get back to it. All right, last one. Woo, step it in. All right. Good job with the legs. We'll be back for some stretching. Okay. 
All right. Okay, we're still at the wall. We're gonna use it to help us balance so that we can get a good stretch out of those muscles. Because often when we're trying to stretch freestanding, we, <laughs> we wobble quite a bit. So we're gonna use the wall. So just face sideways. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna hug our knee. Just simple as that. So bring that knee up, give it a little pull with one arm, stand tall, shoulders back. And with that wall there, you don't have to worry about wobbling. And we get a good stretch in our hip and in our low back and our hamstring. Now that the body's really warmed up from all that work, it's, it's, we can hold those stretches a little longer. Okay, let's bring it down. That same leg, we're gonna bend at the knee. So you're keeping your thighs kind of even. You're gonna bend the knee and try to catch something. You can catch your shoe. They give you loops on the shoe, that's good. You can catch your pant leg. You can catch your toe, depending on how flexible you are. Now we don't want that knee to come out to the side. We wanna try to keep those thighs pretty parallel. And you're stretching now the front of the leg, the quadriceps. Let's take that leg, release it, and step back. We'll just do a calf stretch. So your heel is on the floor, and it's right behind the shoe, the, the toe. So don't let it come in. And we're just bending this front knee, getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Now, legs kind of stay that way. We're going to come upright with the body. Take that outside arm. You're going to lift up, and you can feel the stretch now transfer to the front of the hip and the front of the leg and up into the abdominals. Okay, now this is where we need the wall. We're going to come across the top, kind of bending in the torso, reaching for the wall. This is hard to do without some sort of balance help. Okay, and let's bring it in. So we're gonna do the other side, same thing. All right, so where'd we start? With a knee hug. All right, so that outside leg, just bring it up. Give it a hug, try to pull it more and more so it gets a little bit looser. But the more you pull it in, Alright, let's release it. Now legs stay side by side. Remember the thighs do. Bend at the knee and try to catch something <laughs> back there. Now the taller we stand, the more the stretch in the front of that thigh and in the front of the hip. And you may not be able to catch catch your pant leg or your shoe. Um, and in that case, maybe get a chair behind you and set your, the top of your foot on the, on the chair seat. And that would help with that stretch. All right, let's release that and step back with that foot, just straight back. Heel comes down. Remember, kind of glance at it. See that it's not turned in. It's right behind the toes. And then bend that front knee. Feel those muscles kind of lengthen, stretch out. All right, now come on back up. So your legs are still staggered. You're gonna reach up that outside arm. You're gonna reach to the ceiling, lengthening the spine. You 
and feel that in the front of the hip. And then carefully start reaching across the top to the wall. Okay, let's come on back to center, arm down, let's step together. Now face out, away from the wall. We're gonna lean back into it. So be comfortable, because we wanna get that low back to kind of press into the wall. So pull the navel toward the wall. You're training your core to activate there. Now hang the arms beside you, lock those elbows. Head is resting on the wall. We're gonna come back and see if we can touch the wall down here first. Now, push the fingertips down toward the floor. So kind of walk your fingers down the wall a little bit. We want those shoulder blades down your back. Okay, now from here, let's keep them straight and swing out and up. See if we can get them back against the wall. Try to straighten them. Ooh, you can feel those upper back muscles contract. Come on back down. Pull back and push those fingertips toward the floor. We're stretching in the front of the body, the chest and the, the, arm, the front of the shoulders, but we're activating the core. And back up, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. Whatever you can do, try to straighten. Woo, those are tough. All right, let's come on out in front. Palms facing in. Now let's open out and see if we can get our arms to the wall. Phew. That's tough. All right. Now you have room for a, let's, let's actually stand up, move back a little bit. We're just gonna reach up. And then sweep down the wall. See if we can get the hands to touch. I want to thank the Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club for letting us use their facility for these. And I want to especially thank the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center for putting these videos together for us. And I want to thank my volunteers again for helping me out. Hopefully you got a great workout. And arms down, push toward the floor. You have perfect posture. We'll see you again.